Good day, Lord and ladies. Welcome back to Scold against the Black Pirate. Last episode, we descended into the marsh. And there is a bunch of uh, things to do. Um, first off, Timber, Lumberjack, son was attacked by monsters in the woods. Son got away, but apparently his father didn't. Yeah, ginormous spiders. That's, that's all I'm going to say about that from what I saw in the cave. Outbreak at the camp, alternative supply, search for goats, yeah. The unborn, we need to outbreak at the camp. Basically we need to go into the, the cave, this cave here, which I believe is where we need to go. And we need to find, we need to find stuff. Problem is, we're out of arrows for our bowman, so she's going to have to stab stuff. Um, we do have potions, we do have bits and pieces, so it should be okay. Giant lizards. We do have the turn off against them, Kate and Kane. So you're going to go here. It's just saying that we can't get a good surprise attack off them. You're going to go here and block the lizard. You're going to go here and attack. Let's start combat. Backstab. Excellent. Pin them in place, please. We don't have a ton of potions for you, so you're going to have to... Magic missile. Right. Rule fangs, bits and pieces. The disgusting pile of torn and rotten meat litters the floor. Despite the rancid smell assaulting your senses, you, your senses, it appears that the two litters have greedily gored themselves on it. Uh, survival. Let's try law. Yeah. Judging by the number of tracks and quality of broken bones, a large number of these creatures seem to use these areas as a communal feeding ground. You've heard that reptiles like these tend to eat large quantities when food is readily available before wandering or waddling off to sleep for days afterwards. Perhaps this can be used to your advantage. The language stench also gives to your impression that this particular species is a preference for rotten flesh. So they're basically sort of like um, Komodo dragons. I thought we someone who's good at survival. Yeah. Dodging by the number of tracks and the quality of broken bones. Okay, so it's basically... It's the same thing. We need to find the nest.
don't think fighting our way through here is a good idea. Here we go. Okay. The temperature is not to be higher in this chamber. Strange nest like structures cover the ground, and each of them lays a clutch of large yellow eggs. But maybe we should have just fought because they're going to be annoyed. Anyway, Lordy Day, okay, they can move four as well. You need to block the passageway. How are we supposed to do this? Okay. Yeah, let's do swarm of vermin and we'll pop something out up here out of the way What are these? What are these things? Alpha Lizard. Let's take a moderate tonic to get some stuff back up. You can still tank for a bit longer, so let's... Like, how tough are these? These things are pretty tough. Okay. I missed with that. That sucks. Okay. You need to, we need to clean out this room.
First things first. Oh, I drank the wrong thing. I don't know how we're supposed to do this in a way that makes sense. Okay. I'm just going to shoot magic at it. We need to win this fight quickly. You go and tie it down. You get here and cast. Okay, I'm getting back. I'm getting flanked, so. Okay, take care of those guys. So this is getting quite, quite, ooh, this is getting really tough. You missed. So it has to be PSA number in range. Okay.
Some vermin. Get something in the back to distract them. Critical hit. Fantastic. Really nasty fight. What have we got? Injured arm, injured torso. Let's get out of the cave. We can come back and explore the cave later when we're actually in a better health condition to do so and not... Man, we used up so many resources in that cave. Yeah, most of our minor stuff is gone. As are our healing potions, and that's bad because we can't get more resources. Okay. Alright, 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 alright. Let's go and talk to the crone I have the eggs you say ooh look at those beautiful eggs the crone strokes gently they will do fine my concoction is nearly ready she cracks the large eggs open and dumps the squirming contents into her cauldron Steam begins to rise and the mixture changes colour to a deep crimson. The old woman decants the mixture into a glass. This will do. Soak bread in a thimble of this and you, it will purge your guts of any foulness. She hands you the bottle before stumbly, stumbling heavily down into her chair. Suddenly the previous animated woman looks exhausted. The crib rocks slightly as the lo a low growl escapes it. What's in the crib you say? Why, my wonderful little greedy piglet, can you believe I found him in the woods just a few days ago? Poor baby was starved. That was starved. You found him? In the woods, you say? It's a blessing from the emperors themselves. I'm, I really am a mother, just like all the other women I've helped. And a human scream escapes the crib. The blanket bulges as if something much larger than a baby is moving around. Yeah, let's look in the crib. No, he's mine. The old lunges to his feet and for the finny place itself. Between you and the crib, the screams from the crib grow more frantic. Listen to me, that's not a child, you say. She lets out a pain sound. He's just a baby, please. I've lost so many already. I can't lose another. I'm leaving. The old woman begins trembling as tears run out of her face. When a brood mimic man excites twist across her face. My boy my baby boy's hungry says I'm not enough for him anymore. The old one pulls the robe slightly down, revealing her torso. It's marred with more than half a dozen obscene round wounds. 
I hardly may will do him some good. The woman smile, smiles sincerely as the horrid chirp escapes the crib. The blanket in the crib ripples as something much larger than the child rises from it, and a human screwing mass of teeth, eyes, and what appears to be tentacles. The eyes stare at you without blinking, and then the creature howls. This is madness, you say. The horror lunges at you with human speed. You thrash around in the cottage as it snaps at your feet. At your face, finally, you manage to smash into a wall. The screams of the abomination mix with those of the old woman as it rapidly scuttles off up the chimney and into the woods. Well, look what you have done. The old woman falls to her knees and buries her face in her hands. Roland stares at the scene. Mouth agape. is This is insanity, he declares. Take the medicine and leave. Oh, yeah. Definitely uh, not great. Um, we have enough. Yeah. Right, we cast ten of those. And eleven of those. Okay. He still can we do business with her? Yeah, you did this. You did this, my boy. Okay, so she won't do business with us anymore. She leveled up at least. Okay. So. Stunning blow. Shield rush. Club accuracy, because he's actually pretty bad hitting things, unfortunately. Defend ally. That's actually pretty good, to be honest. Um, but she needs to be actually able to hit with stuff, so I'm going to... Okay, you need to be level 10, so she can't get that yet. Appeal authority, increase will, increase toughness. Spell or the Radiance or a bonus that would be good to have. Um, don't need really any more spells. I just need to actually be better at her job. Yeah, let's get a point into that. And I suppose increasing her will wouldn't be bad. What does a journal say? The unborn. Okay, we've got... Going off in the refuge camp, boy fallen ill, she picks to seek out. Well, the old woman had gone insane, I was able to get the medicine. Okay. Feast for the uh, feast for lizards. They had more flesh. What? So I suppose what we could have. I suppose what we could have just uh, like just given them a load of a load of animal bits. I suppose. I know there's a. A rest point down here where the father and son got attacked. I'm tempted to use it. Because using one of those rather than sleeping in the open is better for us. Besides, it's an awful long way to go back to camp. Okay. Kane and Kate are really sort of just out of it. Drainer. Her lore isn't great. I mean, entertainment is probably her best one. Okay. 
and keep. Two every to work. Okay. So they're up and about again with bonuses. I really don't want to go into this hole. Yeah, but they saw us. Giant spiders, large spider. Okay, so let's... Do something like this. You can't do anything. Single magic missile to do it. Just for finishing off weak enemies. Because we need to keep baiting them all to come down this passageway. Poison is not great. Not a lot you can do, unfortunately. Let's summon something to basically block it in. Okay. That looks like netting. We don't want to break the, the webs if we can help it. I get the feeling if we break the webs, bad things happen. Knowing spiders. Okay. I think spiders don't like those of water, ironically. Most insects don't. I mean, there are some insects obviously that like water, but... Okay, bunch of spiders. That's fine. Uh, let's... Yeah, let's get the combat savvy ones of us... ...up here. Poison sucks. Not a lot you can do about that right now. A single magical missile. Just to clear off its armor, you can chug a lesser attunement potion. Yeah. You may. 
missed, which sucks. Yeah, stop poisoning, please. Uh, lay on hands. There's a little bit. I was hoping we had to have an antitoxin, but it's not going to. Yeah, let's get rid of its vigor and vim. Okay. Yeah, she leveled up. Fantastic. Level 8, more vitality. Increased stealth would be great. Yeah, it's just like we have no. Our recovery is something we need to get if we want to go down the archery route with her, so we need to get that done. And then we need to basically find or make arrows. Took a little bit of damage, that's all right. What is that thing? Giant spider, hostile. Okay. There is a lot of them. I was hoping we would have got into a slightly better formation. Unfortunately, I was... Yeah, this is going to be a nasty fight. Roland, you're going to have to go here. Something like this, and what we'll do is that the spiders will come down here and we'll block it and try and flank the best of us we are able. Not mean to do that. That thing has to die now because it's in a really bad position. And then we'll do summon vermin and buy us a little bit of time. Bit of poison damage is fine. We just need to keep whacking on this thing like it's going out of style, really. It's 
not. It's got an injured torso. Poisoning me. Mind on hands. Yeah, let's go. Backstab for the win. Being weak poisoned, what will get rid of weak poison? Can be removed by magic. Yeah, well, I don't have any of that, unfortunately. Unfortunately, okay. Let's just quickly wipe him out. What's this? Moonstones. Aquamarine ring, Aquamarine ring of athletics. That is nice. Okay, we just have. Oh, uh, we got that, which is Will. I mean, he hasn't got a ring, so he can have it. His athletics goes up. Coin sockets can you sift under the hands, whether it's inside still alive. As you stand versus dumps, you can hear the fake moaning. Cut open the cocoon. Carefully cut open the cocoon and a large man stumbles out. He's no doubt shaken and disoriented from the ordeal. The poor fellow looks at you with wide eyes. What? Uh, where? Your son sent me to look for you, you say. Recollection creeps back into man's eyes. So, so Leon's alive. He made it. Thank good. Thank the golden. And you, you risked your own life to save me. How can I ever prepare you? Surely you have something, you say. Ah, here, take my axe. It's, it's as well crafted as, the, as they come. And I'm sure it'll fetch a, a party a, a pretty penny at the market. Thank you. I'll make my own way out. Surely my boy is waiting fairly well. And be careful for these dark times. Okay, so what did we get? Fine hand axe. Okay. I mean, it's okay, it's not the best thing I've ever seen, but we can sell it for a bit of cash down the road. Some bits and pieces. Akron's Eye, Common Genstone, okay. And there are more spiders. Yeah, 
Yeah, I doubt there's a lot of side stuff here besides extra spider fights. Okay. So she leveled up Vitality and Attunement, which is fantastic. What do we want to get her? Uh, spell burn. Target of the character. The target to counter cells. Not great. Increased attunements. Arcane rush. That's actually not bad. First time you take a wound hit. Point damage each combat. You gain mana. The spell magic would be useful. Um, what spells does he know? Gnats, magic missile. Yeah. So it's going to be tier 2. Blinding bolt, mark of haste. Adds grant to haste. Target an ally. What does that do? Until the plus four, that's movement increase. Purge invisibility. This one would be mass lethargy, so you can summon a greater insect. Or you can invest it into increased attunements, arcane rush. No, I think I'm going to put it into air magic. So we have to learn a new spell, right? No, not yet. I maybe I have to put put it all in. Yeah, here we go. So do we get blink, mark blurring. That's target self. Self. Blinding boat. Lesser blindness might be useful. Greater haste for our rogue would be good. Purge invisible. Um, let's go mark of haste and purge invisible. Because the thing of life, in my experience with invisibility spells is that you never need them until you do. But the ability to remove invisibility is you never need it until you really need it and then it's too late. Um... Mark of Haste is just good. Um, basically, we just throw it down live one of our blocking units so the blocking unit can charge up and block, or we put it into our backstabber character and she just runs around and just murders people in the back. It's a good all around spell. Magic Missile, default, always useful. Swarm for Nats, Disruption, um, causes problems with casters. And some vermin is just a really good way of getting backstabbing off. So we actually have a fairly good setup. Okay. So let's try and get the hell out of this swamp. Because we need to trudge all the way back to creation. Yeah, it's going to be a long trek. Because we have the stuff and we need to get back to camp. Now I'm just terrified that whatever fled into the woods is basically still out there. Okay, so we need to get to camp. Let's sneak away. Okay, so it's going to be a straight up yeah, they've got us actually in a pretty bad position with these things. So, shield wall, mage in the back. You on the side. And you like this, so you can basically come out. Man, that's a nasty hit. Okay.
Imperial Litany. Let's go defend Ally. And then we'll put down Magic Missile just to get that thing off the field as quickly as possible. ATL. So much for being a good ally, like... Why did you move there, you stupid... Not quite sure how this I really don't want to get That's a nice, okay. Let's get into the camp and talk to the child, well, the, the mother of a sick child. And that's probably where we'll leave it today. You return. Did you find the medicine? Yes. Bless the holy tomb. You don't know how much this means to me. I'm a little alien. Han African to the feast. Child, a piece of bread dipped in the foul brew. Child stuff offers a slight grimace at the taste, but seems the worse for wear. What about my reward? You say the mother removes the necklace from my neck. I can give you you my necklace. Don't know how much it's worth, but it's that's all I have. Um. Uh, I'll take it. Like, we are mercenaries at the end of the day. It's not worth a lot, but we need... Okay. So what exactly were we doing? Outbreak. Okay, like what do we do now then? Okay. And upon you. What about that? I have the medicine. The man, uh, Druid especially accepts the post and he grimaces as he examines the mercury against the light. These are dark days indeed when the most holy order of the sepulchites sepul spe sepul sepulchites an imperial religious order tasked with caring for the dead must resort to folk cures and lay medicine. He sighs. And again, I feel that we are left with no choice at this point. With Jarell's help, the two clerics go about from patient to patient administering the foul brew. Now we wait. The effects do not take long to manage that for hours the patients seem to be back on their feet. Darrell appears both relieved and pensive. We, you, cured them. I was certain their lives were forfeit, and yet here they walk out of their arms through legs. Well, at what price, I wonder? In any case, I took time to gather some items that might serve you well in the trials that no doubt lie ahead of you. Hand you a collection of potion bottles. Thank you. Go now. I remain here if you need, if, if I am needed. May the dead ever watch over you. The real pats the old man on the back. You did well, my old friend. Okay, so we cured that. And we got a quick level up, so let's take care of that quickly. Okay. What do we want to go down? Increase medium armor use, don't need that. 
Vitality is probably something we want. Second Wind is probably something we want. Defend Ally is a nice ability. Deep Cut. That's not too bad. Second Wind is also a really good one to get. Uh, I'm going to go Deep Cut though. Get that done and out of the way. Okay, so he's up and about. Um, Multi-attack is probably something we do want for him as well. So there we go. Add ability and multi-attack. So everyone's leveled up. Everyone's good to go. And that's for it, folks. I've been Cornish Knight. This has been Scold against the Back Pro. And I shall see you all again next time. Goodbye.